Okay. Okay, uh, we're doing the wrap up for today's ride. It's a uh, Wednesday, July 16th, and uh, it's felt like a fall day all day long. This is the first time we have not had long sleeves and jackets on since this morning. Uh, we left uh, about quarter to ten this morning and took our ride took us up. Our destination was uh, the Cordell Hall Museum and Birthplace up uh, in Birdstown. So we rode up, uh, we kind of took the long way there. We rode up uh, over Norris Dam and at Norris Dam we stopped to put on long sleeve shirts and a jacket and it had a little snack and then from Norris Dam we went up to Caraville over by Huntsville and then Oneida and then from Oneida we went through Big South Fork stopped again after the Big South Fork and put on sweatshirts and changed our gloves because it got it just felt like a fall day it was just it was cool all day I think it was in the low 70s most of the day and then from so the from uh, Jamestown we rode up to uh, Birdstown and had lunch great lunch at an old place called the Dixie Cafe right in downtown Birdstown then from there it was just a few miles to the Cordell Hall birthplace and museum stop there it's a nice little museum uh, kind of a nice place to go if, you, if you're a history buff and then from there we traveled uh, down 111 towards Livingston and we had planned on stopping at the Dale Hollow uh, lake. lake and it's kind of a you could see they had like a little beach and a marina and everything but they were doing some paving on the road and it was that fresh fresh black tar was shooting out of the back of the truck and we didn't want to ride the bikes through there so they allowed us to pass around on the other side, but we kind of got shortchanged on that deal, so we'll have to go back to Dale Hollow another day. Rode down uh, to Livingston, and then to uh, Monterey, and then in Monterey, I believe we took 62 over to Clark Range, and Clark Range we stopped for a quick snack, and then from there, rode into uh, towards Wartburg, stopped at Lansing, a cute little town, real small little town, but real cute, one of those little towns you kind of wish you could live in, I guess, I don't know. Maybe it's just, cute. Yeah, yeah. Just, maybe that's just my fantasy, but it was a real, real small town, quiet, peaceful, just, you know, on a beautiful sunny night like tonight. And then from where we went to Wartburg, Oliver Springs, and back home, it's about a quarter to eight. We just got home. Uh, our total ride was 264 miles. And Pamo, what was your favorite thing of the ride today? Switch it around, so Pamo. Okay, my favorite thing uh, of the ride was uh, just the back roads getting to Birdsville and then uh, the back road coming back. Birdstown, wasn't it? Birdstown. Birdstown. Yeah. Okay, sorry. And then the back road coming back. Uh, <laughs> coming, coming back <laughs> towards to. Towards Lansing or wherever. Yeah. It was 84. 62 oh, towards okay. Lansing, yeah. Anywho, that was my favorite thing. The back roads, they were wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you. The back roads, because uh, that was the first time uh, we'd ever been to Birdstown. We'd never been there before, and we took uh, up in uh, north of Jamestown, Pall Mall. We took with 285, or I'd have to look at my notes, but it was a uh, real curvy, windy, up and down back road. Uh, real pretty, pretty. We'd never been on that road before, and then we'd never been in Birdstown before that I that I can ever remember. And people were real nice. People there. were super nice. Yeah. Small, little towns. Uh, People were just were super friendly, and then from there over to the to the, the museum and and uh, over to Livingston. I don't think we'd ever been on those back roads before, so I always enjoy seeing in, or experiencing new back roads. Yeah. So that was probably my favorite, second favorite thing. My favorite thing always is getting home. Everybody Yay. knows by now these are our three little girls. They are the our children. Our they they just are our little kids and they give us a greeting like we've been gone for a month every time we come yeah, home whether it's been a girls. five minute or an all-day event like today they just are just are our little babies so that was my favorite thing all so right. uh, we'll wrap it up and uh, Pamela will probably have a bunch of stories for me tonight and I'll pass those along later <laughs> thanks honey for the great ride